Hi, this is Chelsea from Talk Nerdy to Me, here to talk nerdy to you about the Barnes & Noble after holiday sale. So the holiday sale consists of 33% off all hardback cover books, and if you spend $50, you get $20 in rewards to your account. So let's get into it. This is absolutely no particular order, and I absolutely had no particular idea going in as to anything particular that I wanted. My own personal favorite genres are gothic horror and smut. I sometimes dive into fantasy, not super frequently, but I do. So let's get into what I got because a lot of it was unexpected. Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. I have heard a ton about this book. It's a fantasy. I really wanted to see what all the fuss was about. That was not on sale. I paid regular price for that. The next book is the book that I was actually the most excited about to go get because I'm also obsessed with vampires, which is The Scarlet Veil by Shelby, which is my daughter's name. Shelby Ma Maharin. Anyways, um, I really lucked out. I got this as a signed copy. This has vampires, love, enemies to lovers just seemed really good but she's a she's a big book next book i got is by one of my favorite just auto buy authors i've been wanting to buy this book for a while but i've been sitting on it because it's in hardcover and i don't like hardcovers as much as i like paperback because i can't take them with me when i'm out and about my auto buy author is sylvia moreno garcia i'm obsessed with her and i love her anything she writes i eat it up mexican gothic is one of my favorite books of all time so i went ahead and jumped on silver nitrate it's about two mexican-american people who are on a film set apparently it's cursed they need to figure out what to break the curse childhood friends just seems great anything by her is an auto buy i'm sorry my explanations of these are really not the best this one is the foxglove king which i was really excited about you can tell i was kind of in a macabre mood when i went mostly kind of grim mostly a little bit of a grim selection but um again i love gothic and i'm just really that's what i was feeling so the foxglove king it's about lore who has like death powers and she goes into these catacombs and it just seemed really interesting so i picked it up Next one, I don't know, I, I wouldn't say it's more of a lighter lighter read, but it's going to be The Unmaking of June Farrow. I've heard great things about this book by Adrian Young. It's about a family, generational curses, where they all go mad and they all die, has to figure out and break the curse. There's a lot of like mystery figuring out, breaking curses things going on in this hall. One of my best friends is obsessed with Tanya, Tana French. She's a mystery writer she's from dublin she writes all her stuff about dublin murder mysteries so i picked up her new book the searcher the searcher because i promised to read it with her so i'm very excited this one doesn't take place in dublin but it takes place like on an outskirt it still has to do with irish me being 100 percent irish i'm like obsessed with it haven't finished divine rivals yet but i am reading it on my kindle so i wanted to pick up ruthless vows which obviously just came out this december i've literally not heard a bad thing about divine rivals or ruthless vows so hopefully this is a really great duology as everybody says it is and then of course i saved the smut for last but not the least the newest barbarians barbarians touch by ruby dixon she's my girl my other best friend got me hooked onto the big blue alien d and i'll never go back let me know if you're gonna go to barnes and noble in the comments let me know what you're gonna pick up let me know if you have any other suggestions I always wear like sweatshirts and hoodies and I'm a mom and I don't have much time to read and I really read so slow because I have two very small babies. Uh, my husband special made me a sweatshirt. It's a Blue Beetle sweatshirt that he made for me through Talk Nerdy to Me. I special requested it because a little known fact about me is I'm really obsessed with Mexican-American stuff. My husband's Hispanic. My children are half Hispanic. So anything with like their culture, I really just try to dive right into it. So he special made this for me. If you check out the stuff on the Talk Nerdy to Me website, we really cater to monthly things that come out and we can, you know, even special make things if they're not copyrighted or the images are saved. Just give us a check out, give us a like, go over, check out our stuff. Have a great new year.